Well, this was unexpected. If you watch my recent video all about the Charizard EX League Battle Deck, you'll know that I did math to determine how many credits you'd get from purchasing it in Pokemon TCG Live. While my math was slightly off, a rarity for me, the end result remained the same. The Zard deck was not a good way to credit farm coming in 8th place overall. But I forgot to take into account the developer making an oopsie. You see, every lead battle deck in live is priced at 1,250 crystals. Once you have 4 copies of every card from that deck, you'll have to buy the deck 2 or 3 times to achieve this, you'll earn the number of credits you see on screen. At 2,690, the credit game from the Charizard deck puts it in 8th place, well below Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX. But here's where the Pokemon Company screwed up. The Charizard EX lead battle deck is only 600 crystals, half the price it should be. So now you can buy two copies for the price of one Shadow Rider deck. By doing so, you earn 5,380 credits, putting Zard well ahead of every other lead battle deck. I wanted to wait a couple of days to post this video in case they adjusted the price, but just like the naked avatars, it looks like this is intentional. While it's not quite our third infinite money glitch, it is the new best way to farm credits in Pokemon TCG Live, and it's not even close. If you don't care about the why or the how, all you need to know is that the only thing you should be spending your crystals on in live is the Charizard lead battle deck. There's no more premium pass, so just buy the Zard deck in the shop every time you get 600 crystals. With daily quests now offering up 90 crystals, you can buy the deck every week, which grants 2700 credits. For new players though, your very first purchase will only grant around 1200 credits which is helped along by the fact that you get a free Charizard EX deck by default for logging in before March 2025. Then the second lead battle deck you buy will offer up 2,000 credits or so, and the third will be the full 2,700. Yes, the economy in live is confusing, which is why I'm making it easy. Just buy the Zard lead battle deck. Because I enjoy doing math so much, if you do all your daily quests, that's 2,700 crystals per month. You can buy 4.5 Charizard EX lead battle decks as a result, meaning you can earn just over 12,000 credits every month with this method. But daily quests aren't the only way to get your toes on some crystals. By entering new leagues on the ranked ladder, you can get up to 1,800 crystals each month. Since you don't lose ranked points for losing outside of Master League, getting to Master League is almost a given, meaning you can expect 1,200 crystals a month with this method. Then there's profile level rewards. Every time you gain one profile level, you receive either 100 or 200 crystals. Because they went nuts and multiplied the experience game by like 6, it's not crazy to think you can gain one level per day. I'll keep it conservative though and say you should expect 2,000 crystals a month through profile levels. And finally, the Battle Pass. While the Battle Pass changes every 2-3 to three months, let's say you get 1,000 per month from there. Just keep in mind that the best rewards on the newly revamped Battle Pass are backloaded and you won't see most of your crystals until the final 20 tiers. Alright, if you do all the things I just mentioned and complete your daily quests, reach Master League and earn experience to unlock new profile levels and tiers on the Battle Pass, you'll find yourself with up to 6,900 crystals a month. You can then turn those crystals into 11.5 Charizard EX lead battle decks, which nets you 31,000 credits. Still following along? Well, good, because I checked out about two minutes ago. Basically, if you play live every day for a month, you'll get 30,000 credits by spending your crystals on the Zard deck. Otherwise, normal-ish people who play live moderately should expect around 15,000 credits a month, which is still insane. So while I may have been critical about the changes to live with the previous update, as long as you hire the world's smartest mathematicians, or, you know, you just subscribe to my YouTube channel, you can actually get a really good collection within a few months without buying codes. For further context on how useful 15 to 30,000 credits is, here's how much it costs to craft new cards in the Scarlet and Violet era. Since Pokemon EX are only 600 credits, you can build several new decks every month, or upgrade the current slate of 10 free decks given by default and through the Battle Pass. Don't ask me why a game with no microtransactions has such a confusing economy, but if you do this one simple trick, the Pokemon company will hate you. One last thing to note is that every deck you purchase from the shop is added to your decks, so you'll have to manually delete them to keep your decks list from looking like this. Yes, I, uh, I went a little nuts buying all of them. Now, I know what you're thinking, it's pretty weird that Charizard is weak to grass. Also, is the Zard lead battle deck better for credit farming than Celebrations packs? And the answer is a resounding yes. By spending 1200 crystals on two Charizard decks you get 5400 credits. By spending 1100 crystals on six Celebrations packs for this video, I earned 4800 credits. Because the Zard deck is a fixed amount of credits and the Celebration packs are RNG based, there is a scenario where Celebrations can get you more. But that requires shoving a horsey shoe up your butt while hugging a leprechaun. 
So yeah, the Pokemon company entering the wrong price has completely changed the farming process. My best guess is that whoever priced the Zard deck was too distracted by all the low punny Rule 34 art on their second monitor and thought it was an EX deck, which are garbage decks that cost 600 crystals. Lead battle decks and deluxe battle decks, deluxe battle decks also suck, are 1,250 crystals each, so Zard should have cost that. Whatever the reason, you reap the benefits. As a reminder, coins are disappearing on December 13th. Up to 5,000 coins in your account will be converted to crystals at a 4 to 1 ratio, meaning you'll be given enough to buy two Zard decks. If you have more than 5,000 coins, spend the excess on deck cosmetics as those will cost crystals beginning on the 13th. If you have any questions about credit farming in Pokemon TCG Live, don't ask them in the comments. Because the answer will always be, just buy the Charizard EX lead battle deck whenever you have 600 crystals.